Hello everyone and welcome to my next Blender for Beginners tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go ahead and start making a what's called a low poly uh, low poly character which means that it's not going to have as many vertices and stuff as like that as high poly characters so it's not going to be as detailed pretty much. So. Um, I have a time-lapse video um, called time-lapse Moogle um, that's the same one that we're gonna do so I have posted uh, pictures 2d reference images on my myspace page and I'm going to put the link to the pictures in my description of the video so you can find them over there All right so um you only really need two of the pictures so we're gonna go ahead and start by um, coming down here to the bottom selecting split area and splitting it right down the center now we're going to go to view this is assuming that you have the pictures already select view background image use background load and I'm going to use I believe it was three and four and I'm going to turn my blend right here all the way down I'm gonna erase that cube and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select background image use background load and four Which I actually wanna turn these around because I I'm sorry. Just give me one second. Let me get this one over here and this one over here. Three. Actually, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna model from the left side. So I'm sorry. Just give me one second. Let me figure out what I want to do here. Okay. Now that I have both my images up, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna take these background image settings off because I no longer want them. Just going to zoom in really close to the um, Moogle. Okay. And I don't really want to work with that side yet. It's really going to be um, the front that we're going to be working with at the moment. And in this tutorial all we're going to cover is the body and maybe the legs or the arms. So we're going to start off we're going to um, left click right in the center of the Moogle so that we can go ahead and press space add mesh plane I need to go to side view and rotate that 90 degrees okay now I'm gonna scale it in and actually I'm sorry three shift three okay um, space add mesh cube and then we're gonna scale that down to about right there okay now we're gonna go into edit mode by pressing tab deselect all B for box select and select those four edges over there X actually we're gonna um, control R and center click right in the center to split it right down the middle then press A to deselect all B to box select and erase these vertices over here All right, now we have a half a box um, we're going to apply a mirror modifier as I've shown you in the previous tutorial so just come down here to modifier add mirror and go back into edit mode gonna come down here to our mirror modifier on the bottom and click that little thing if you want to and we're going to select to do clipping that little empty spot right there is what I was saying to click All right. now we're gonna center this up with our Moogle so we're gonna drag this up I'm gonna scale it down drag it down a little bit
Okay. Now, we want to grab the bottom, take it up, grab the top, take it up to about the neck, bring it in a little bit, grab the bottom, take it up, and we're going to scale it out. All right. Now we're going to grab these two right here, and we're going to extrude the region, and we're going to take it down a little bit, going to grab this, bring it out, grab the whole bottom again by pressing B to box select, E to extrude the region, and bring it down to about right there, grab the bottom, E to extrude, and then we're going to scale this in. I'm going to bring it up a little bit because it's kind of low. Grab this. Alright. Um, looks about good to me. Now the key is to make this, um, the cupos are round, so you want to make it as round as you possibly can. So we're going to grab this, bring it out make it fit the back of his body bring this in to make it fit his shoulders bring that up bring the front out just a little bit now we're working in the side view um, over here I'm sorry if you guys weren't didn't see me do the change now that I have the front all set up to the circumference of his body I want to go ahead and start to work the sides so I'm B box selecting grabbing it taking it out a little bit, B box select, grab, take that in a little bit, B box select, <laughs> grab, B box select, grab, and we're going to bring that down, B, grab, B, grab, and you just want to, just want to make it fit the picture pretty much. You may want to add more edge loops. Um, Sometimes you get a better, a way better picture if you do. So definitely, let me see. I'm going to add an edge loop right here by pressing Control R, centering it up, and center clicking. B, gram. Alright, bring this one up a little bit. So. Okay. Actually, want to move this all over just a tad bit. So, what I'm going to do is go out of edit mode by pressing tab, grab this, and I want to move it over just a tad bit. Okay, go back into edit mode. Now, I'm going to grab this bottom corner and take it out just a little bit and I'm gonna grab this center piece and I'm gonna bring it down okie dokie seven and we did that pretty fast so I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the arms now what hmm Let's see. I'm going to make it, um, by pressing Z, I can make it like see through. So I need to take that in a little bit. Bring that up. Bring that up. Transparent. Yeah, that's what the blender calls it. Okay. Now what I want to do is add some edge loops right here in the top. I want to add two, so I'm going to roll my mouse ball up. Then I want to add edge loops right here, and I want to add two there as well. So roll your ball up and center click. Now what we want to do is select these right here, these four, and we're going to press 